Taysom Hill finally got a shot to start for the New Orleans Saints, and he did not disappoint. He showed good mechanics and accuracy and was routinely able to move through reads. He dealt with pressure off of play action, understood where his hot routes were, and his ball placement helped keep receivers out of harm's way. While it wasn't a perfect game and he was inconsistent with his anticipation throws, it was a very good showing for his first start as a quarterback. One of the more common pass game concepts that the Saints run is dagger. It involves a clear out from the slot and a deep dig behind it from the number one receiver with a shallow drag from the receiver to the back side of the play. The clear out takes away the deep defenders and the shallow drag is designed to help hold the linebackers underneath which opens up space for the deep dig. This play does a good job of showing the versatility that Taysom Hill brings to the quarterback position. He did a really good job most of the game keeping his eyes up when moving in the pocket and getting outside on the edge. Taysom here comes out of the play action and looks to locate where the underneath defenders are to see if they've gotten underneath the dig or if they're down with the shallow drag. As he diagnoses that, he feels pressure and has to climb up and out of the pocket. A really good indicator that he has a chance to become a legitimate starter is that he keeps his eyes up instead of relying on his legs with a lot of open field in front of him. He sees that the dig has made its way across the field and delivers a really accurate ball on the move to his receiver. This is that same dagger concept, but I want to use this example to show Taysom's ball placement ability and his understanding of defenses and the holes that appear. The Falcons are bailing to a too high safety look with the slot defender immediately turning his hips and bailing at the snap. Again off of play action, Taysom has to quickly diagnose this shift and process what that means for the play. He also needs to locate where the underneath defenders are. With that rotate and with no receivers releasing to the top of the screen, Taysom understands that, that corner can now get under the clear out and the original middle field safety is freed up to rob anything in the middle of the field. This means that Taysom needs to protect his receiver on the deep dig if that's what he's going to throw. He can't lead him to the middle of the field because that free safety will be able to deliver a big hit or impact the throw. Taysom is able to diagnose all of that off the play action and then throw to the back hip of the receiver to slow them down and prevent a big collision with the safety. Taysom showed a few good anticipation throws throughout the game as well. The guy might be 30 years old, but for a first start and his prospects of being a legitimate starter, these are some really big things at the quarterback position. Taysom consistently had a stable base which allowed him to be accurate and stay on rhythm to throw with anticipation. Here he's seeing the space underneath the deep curl is open and begins his throwing motion just as his receiver is breaking down. These are the kinds of throws that can be problematic if you throw them late or aren't seeing the defense well, but Taysom was able to hit a number of these throughout the game. He wasn't perfect, but the throws he did make were definitely good indicators. Here again he keeps a solid base and begins his throwing motion just as the receiver is starting to break the route off and hits him at eye level for an easy completion. That ball placement is what I found most impressive. It's starting quarterback caliber. He'd throw back hip to slow receivers down and protect them from hits, give them balls that they could easily run with after the catch, and show decisiveness and zip on a lot of his underneath and intermediate throws, even with pressure in his face. While he showed good understanding of where his hot reads were, there were a couple times where he didn't realize that he was hot. Based on what the defense is showing here, there are seven total potential rushers, and the Saints are in an empty formation with no running back to help in pass protection. Taysom knows that if more than five rushers come, he has to get rid of the ball. The Saints are running a half-line slide here to the side with more potential rushers. From the center over, they're sliding right to take care of the three bigs, or defensive linemen to that side. Taysom has to know that if either linebacker comes on a blitz from that side, he's hot and has to throw to the area that that linebacker is blitzing from. The Saints do have a drag from Michael Thomas built in that would be the route Taysom should throw since the linebacker is blitzing from that area. However, Taysom doesn't look to check to that side for a blitz and therefore doesn't see the pressure coming soon enough. By the time he feels it, it's already too late and he takes a sack. While Taysom did show a number of anticipation throws, there were also some reads where he was a beat late. On his only turnover worthy throw of the day here, he's seen the window but throwing it late. He initially wants the route out of the backfield to Deontay Harris but holds onto it for a beat too long. There's a window for the drag to Thomas, but it has to be thrown with anticipation, and with Taysom being a beat late, the defender is able to close the opening and get a hand on the ball. It's a small sample size for all of this in his first start, but there are also maybe some concern for his deep ball. Taysom had no issue driving the ball on intermediate throws, but the two times he did try to load up and throw deep, he ended up underthrowing his receivers. It worked out both of these times, but if he's going to attack deep downfield, he might need to be a guy that does it on rhythm much like Drew Brees does. He doesn't seem to be a guy that can throw it late on a broken play since he's topping out at about 50 or 55 yards on these throws. That's more than enough for normal fades and rhythm posts, but not quite enough to sling it late downfield. 
of course, while Taysom may struggle throwing deep late, he does bring his ability to scramble and run to the table, which can't be overlooked. The Saints really didn't do anything all that fancy with him as a starter, but they did run this quarterback power lead play five separate times in the game. It helps the offense gain an extra blocker when the quarterback is the ball carrier and adds to Taysom's ability and utility. In important situations, he's able to get yards with his legs and adds another dimension to the Saints' attack. We knew Taysom was a versatile player before this, but I came away very impressed with his accuracy, clean mechanics, and ability to keep his eyes downfield when under pressure and outside the pocket. He's always a threat on the ground, but if he wants the opportunity to be a legitimate starting quarterback, he's going to have to continue to put together games like he did against the Falcons. It wasn't perfect, but it showed his ability and gave the Saints something to think about moving forward. Maybe all that talk Sean Payton did about him being the next Steve Young isn't so far off, and the Saints might be set up for years to come. Hey guys, make sure to check out the Patreon for weekly game picks, some extra bonus content and video breakdowns every week. There's also early releases for these full breakdowns. You can donate just $1 a month, and that gives you access to all of it. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and until next time, I'm Casey Sully, and I'll see you on the next Film Breakdown.